Hi right, guys, DuffLondrexYZ, and we're back with more Yukio the Duels of the Roses. And it looks like we're getting close to the to the end. Um, yeah, I mean, I got I got to get two more red rose cards, and of course, going against the final boss. So yeah, I just finished against Jasper Dice Tutor. So next one's Makoro. Which is kind of an odd choice, honestly, but man, look at that deck cost. Only 757. Dang. So you're the one they call the Rose Duelist. I am Bakura, a uh, reptile named Card Warrior. There was a time when so some knew me as Nat Cade or Mortimer. You stand on held soil where card dueling has been passed on for generations. In particular, in, in particular, my family have mastered the art of the dark duel. Well, shall we begin? <laughs> I can't tell if this is going with regular Bakura or Yami Bakura. <laughs> it's mainly a forest with crush card sections all over the place. So, well, I guess I'll put the shield behind me. It's a life point recovery, huh? Because of his deck leader, I'm guessing. Maybe? Yeah, a life point recovery. Hmm. I still have nothing in terms of leader abilities. <laughs> Okay, so he's on the Crush Card Virus, that has to be a monster that, at most, 1500. Go through the crush card. Okay, that kind of got me. Wow, 
Well, okay, that kind of got me a little bit. I guess field wise, yeah, here, but. Because it goes, it's only at 13, that's the reason. back at 4,000. This, this will clear up a little bit of the crush card stuff. I really do need my mirror wall. about damage. <laughs>
it. I mean, I don't really have much of a strategy right now, but... I'm chipping away at its life points. something soon. He's reviving himself with his... He's healing himself with the LP. Attack five hundred. sand. I don't think I've ever had mystical sand, so why not? <laughs> Rain of Mercy. That even did anything, but let's just go with it. Twenty two, and that's a win. <laughs> Alright, 
mushroom to choose from. Take Trav, another random mercy, and laughing flower. No way. I warn you, your next field of battle will be your last. Be prepared to meet your maker. Right. Right, he has 12.06 for Yugi. Okay. Uh, yeah, obviously I'll reorganize my deck again. Finally come to face me, duelist. I hope you're as good as they say, because the better the duelist, the better my game. Well, let's see if he is the king of games. Man, look at this field. It's all just bunch of randomness. <laughs> Seriously, it's just it's just nothing but randomness here. No joke. It's like someone just randomly threw in some spaces all over the place here. Just all my monsters are pretty powerful. Okay. Fine. Gotta get ready here. Let's see. Come on. Attack me, man. Attack me. Doesn't look like he's gonna attack. Luster Shield, let's see.
Gaia the Dragon Champion. Of course, I'm spellbound, though. Attack. <laughs> Fine. Trap hole. Just in the waiting. Here, I'm just getting lucky, or I don't know what. get him to attack me. He's not. <laughs> I'm gonna set Mimic Cat just in case. Destiny draw. <laughs> what does he have? You know, I hardly ever saw anyone do Destiny draw anyway. Mirror Force. <laughs> of course, I had to be greedy. <laughs> Let's 
Yeah, that was a pretty good draw. Bring back mirror wall. <laughs> Giant soldier of stone. <laughs> Dragon wins. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he really wasn't the king of games. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he didn't even lay a single hit on me. Well, I mean, I didn't take any damage. <laughs> Monster reborn. Oof, Monster Reborn and Giant Soldier of Stone. I was kind of going for the Dark Magician. Oh well. I lose. Know you this, although the Rose cards are lost to me, I shall not falter from my cause. On the graves of my Celtic ancestors, I swear thou will one day rule over all of England. I got the last of the rose cards. Hey, Seto, I haven't seen you in a while. You now have all the rose cards. It is time to head for Stonehenge. Kind of went into a giant circle, really. <laughs> the ritual is complete. The power, the world, with the power of the cards behind us, all will be ours for the taking. The time has come to realize the dreams of my ancestors. Madawadden Favlier. Long have I waited for this day. You're the ones responsible for this? First, you dare to summon my sleeping brother from his eternal resting place in the sands of Egypt, using him duel after duel. And then you dare to seal him away again. Unforgivable. It looks like I failed again. Hold your tongue. There's no room for excuses. Nothing escapes my eyes. I demand justice. I shall feed on you and your kind, on every last one of you who exists on this miserable planet. 
It's up to you, duelist. This evil, uh, this evil that's awakened can only be laid to rest by you. Only by defeating this vile creature will you be able to undo the summoning. At least that's what's the, that's what the legend says. Quiet, mortal. It is time to avenge my brother. All right. Well, his deck cost is 1891, but you know what? I'm. I think I'm kind of good. Yeah, because I don't think there was really anything else. Well, actually, no. One more thing. This duel fills out. <laughs> uh, prepare to meet your doom. Like, if this is gonna be cheap as the first time, uh, I don't know. It might be. Okay, well, this luckily this time is different. It's, it's a dark field in the middle of the section instead of a brush field. <laughs> Spellbound, but at least I took a huge chunk of damage off of him. <laughs> hey, it works. circle as well. It's like he's more or less just protecting himself than anything else, but I don't know. Skull Knight. <laughs> Spellbound, though. Oh. 
Whoa. Dang. Even with my powered up blue eyes, he still was able to defeat me. Wow. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's a trap hole. Oh man, he had dark hole as well. But I have white hole. <laughs> I think I played White Hole when I had the chance. I was a little bit lucky, honestly. <laughs> Only because of the fact that I had the white hole trap card. I you know it I already had it set. <laughs> Good thing. <laughs> I was actually using it, gonna save it for myself, but hey. It meant <laughs> the dark hole backfired on him, I guess. <laughs> oh god, look at that. Ah, uh, now I was so close again. That's Zoa, at least. <laughs> no, no, this is not justice. I, I cannot lose. Impossible. No. The summoning is undone. My family. Legend has it that my family was the only noble line to actually enter into a packet of glory with a card guardian. But sometime in the past, the pack was broken for, for reasons that are veiled in the mists of history. For generations, our family has searched the world in the hopes of finding the same card guardian who revived the pact and the glory that once was uh, that was once ours. Since the day I inherited the Book of M at Dunkel, I've searched far and wide. Many have many are the guardians I've awakened, only to return them their resting place to date my search for the one true guardian goes unrewarded you can't imagine how excited i was when i'd come to england and learned of the rose duelist legend needless to say the result was anticlimactic at best i apologize for dragging you into all this i will honor my promise of returning you to your own age however i fear that that is not enough to repay you for your help. Wait. Here, take this back with you. 
I will continue in my quest to find the one true guardian. Perhaps it is my destiny to fail, but my descendants shall carry on the search. Should you meet such a descendant of mine, show this rose pendant. For from this day onward, my family is ever in your debt, and will lend whatever support it is within their power to provide. This I promise as an eternal pledge, a pledge of roses. In the days that followed, the mystic barrier maintained by the sorcery of the cards faded away, leaving England's shores vulnerable to invasion. In August 1485, Yugi, Henry Tudor, successfully land landed at, at Milford Haven, defeating Richard III in the Battle of Borsford. Yugi was crowned as King Henry VII. The Tudor reign was to continue on until Elizabeth I. As for Seto and the Rose Crusaders, they disappeared from England, never to be seen or heard from again. The only record of their existence remains in the form of an inscription carved on the back of the Rose Pendant. Anne is born to die, but the Pledge of Roses is born to live throughout all eternity. It is a pledge recorded in, in Mystic Numbers. Another, uh, another one of those codes, card codes. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! The Duelist of the Roses, The White Rose Chapter End. Alright. I guess that is that. Yeah, you know, I gotta say, it's kind of odd seeing Seto as somewhat of a supportive good guy. I, I don't know. I mean, in the intro of the game, it made it seem like he was kind of evil and... The evil cunning bad guy like he was he wasn't the anime but honestly here he's kind of been more or less supportive i guess especially near the end when he you know, was trying to actually undo it, the whole summoning process and send me back to my own time <laughs> but hey i mean uh, this is loosely based off of the anime or manga for that matter <laughs> i guess you can say it's like a an alternate continuity who knows but, with that being said, though, yeah, I mean, there you have it, Yu-Gi-Oh! The Duelist of the Roses. It's uh, kind of a different take on the traditional Yu-Gi-Oh! formats. I mean, like I said, it's kind of like a, com a combination of regular Yu-Gi-Oh! mixed with... Uh, kind of mixed with, like, a, a regular board game, I guess. You know, kind of like Dungeon Dice Monsters meets with Yu-Gi-Oh! in some, that, some regard. <laughs> Unfortunately, I would say that. But, uh, I mean, I would say this is not really the true way of playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Because you know, some of the, um, a lot of the monster effects, a lot of the spells, a lot of the traps don't function the same way like they do in modern Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> Unfortunately, it's, it's like it, the game, it, the game is in its own rule set, so you can't really take what you've learned in the actual game and apply it here, for the most part, anyway. But uh, it, it still was a pretty fun game. Got to a little bit challenging one, especially near the beginning. But you know, actually, I would say, if anything else, I would say maybe start off with the Yorkus route first, because at least I think that's kind of the easier route, considering I have not, I didn't lose a single duel in the Yorkus route. And at the very least, it would help kind of get you cards needed for improving your deck. And then for, from that point on, the Lancastrian route. <laughs> I say that's kind of more of the challenging route to go through. But, uh... I mean, overall, the, the gameplay wasn't too bad. The characters were somewhat unique in their own right, even though they weren't really the original characters, per se. <laughs> but, it, I mean, it was something different. I mean, at this point now, I can still continue. And... From this point on, pretty much everything is open. Yeah, so everything is pretty much open. Yeah, so I, because I had, since I completed the White Rose and the Red Rose routes, yeah, everything's pretty much open, so I can go about, I can go about doing any 
any uh, duel that I've done. Unfortunately, there's no hidden duels. Considering the map stretches out for a good amount, honestly, I kind of surprised there's no like hidden duels anywhere. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I could potentially go through any rounds. Yeah, so I mean, if you want to just keep grinding, getting more, uh, more cards, better cards, or possibly just up, you know, improving your deck leader, you could do that. You could. But uh, that being said, though, that's that's it. <laughs> I mean, it was a fun adventure, a little bit of a challenging adventure, but a fun one. Oh uh, yeah, at least I got a Yu-Gi-Oh game out of the way. <laughs> All right, guys, this is Devil Dark XYZ, and until next time.